And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Winter Ezreal. And we're going to bring this deck back after going 5-0 with it earlier in the week. It was, you know, looked really strong. We're going to try it again. Uh, first thing first, I do have an, I'm trying a new microphone setting. People here on Twitch chat are saying that it sounds better than it did before. Those of y'all watching on YouTube later with the recording, um, you know, who knows like what's going to happen with the recording. So leave those comments. Let me know if this does sound better. Um, you know, hopefully, hopefully it does. You know, I've been trying out new things with the sound. Hopefully this sounds better. All right, but yeah, so our deck is, you know, pretty straightforward. We're just an Ezreal control deck that we're using Frostbite for uh, ways to help slow the game down, help keep us alive. We have things like Harsh Winds that give us two abilities with Ezreal and, um, you know, then just our other regular Frostbite cards like Brittle Steel, um, Ice Veil Archer, all good targets because we need to target our enemies eight plus time to level up our Ezreal, and then our Ezreal does a bunch of damage to them, and we win. That's kind of the game right there. Braum helps slow the game down as well, being a really good blocker. And we got card advantage, static shock, progress day. That's our deck. All right, here we go. So we're going to go ahead and play five games over in ranked, and we'll see how it does. Thanks, Nakana. Thank you. And yeah, so we'll try this for today, and if if it doesn't work, you know, we'll go back. If it, if it ends up not working as well. We'll see. Alright, love having the Starlet Seer. Um, just keep Mystic Shot as well. So they're also going to be a control deck. I don't love how Mystic Shot doesn't kill Ezreal. I know it kills Twisted Fate, but... I mean, everything kills Twisted Fate. We could find other things later to kill Twisted Fate with. So I want to play Starlet Seer and then be able to play a spell afterwards, which I wouldn't be guaranteed to be able to do if I just led with Starlet Seer, then they kill Starlet Seer. I'm taking three damage here just to be able to have to get this extra plus one plus one, which you know may end up biting us. We'll see. This would be a good winter. I want to cast this thermogenic beam right now on the fleet feather tracker, but I just can't fleet foot. Fleet Feather Tracker just doesn't matter too much. Um, so let's see. I play Ezreal. They kill Ezreal. But then if they're killing Ezreal, they're not killing my Starless Ears. So that's kind of cool. I thought you'd never ask. Wasn't exactly expecting that. I wish we had one mana to even just like rummage away the, you know, like even if we didn't have two mana to cast Mystic Shot, if we had one mana we could rummage it away. Okay. That's also fine. Um, I don't know, Ibotin. Maybe, I, I don't know, I don't really have any plans to right now. We'll see. 
ruffle our feathers! Alright, so our next unit is gonna have plus six plus six from these Starlet Seers. That's pretty big. That's pretty big. There's plenty of killing left. Make that plus seven plus seven. Plunder is a play trigger, so that's why that doesn't get the the plus. Huh. How can Brom help? That's not bad. Yeah, you don't want to cross me. This is fun, yes? Kill this thing. <laughs> yes, yours. I don't think I've ever had a 712 Brom before. So pretty. Pretty silly. A 4 mana 712 challenger regenerate. Alright, Ezreal's at 4. Okay, not killing. And I don't think I rummage these away. You know, when. Be nice when we have the Starlet Seer play spells, but they're not killing Brom. Their Ezreal is completely leveled up, of course. At least we'll trade at the 2 2. At least. Save the homestead. <laughs> A local strongman deflects shark based cannonballs off chest. <laughs> that is exactly what happened here. I don't know, this is. This is making it so they've if they have five damage they can kill my Braum. So like another basically another Riptide Rex could kill Braum. If I challenge there. I could simply just challenge here. And then they're not killing Braum. Maybe we just do that. Now Braum levels up. I can't, I can't thermogenic beam this thing, because, like, in case they do have Ezreal. Oh, no. I guess they are killing Braum. I don't have... Yeah, I don't have Elixir of Iron to look for. Dang. And Thermogenic Beam's like the worst card to, for me to have. Because it's too good to rummage away, but it's... Uh, this is like the worst card. The calm before the storm. No 
This is... This is really disappointing. Obviously, I wish I would have played the thermo the thermo junk beam on the seven four if I knew I was going to be drawing another one. Try again. Never lost a fair game. Blue as the serpentine. I mean, because I, I don't want to. Basically, because if they play Ezreal, I need to have an. I need to have something that kills Ezreal. And there's not that many things in my deck that kill Ezreal, so I have to keep Thermogenic Beam. Because it's it's basically the only thing that kills a two four Ezreal, and if they played one, I would have to kill it. So it's just so disappointing that that's you know that I have like that combo of the the Thermogenic Beam right there and Rummage. I just couldn't do anything. This will level up Ezreal. Maybe better to play that on defense. We know they have a bunch of fleeting cards in hand. So they, they gotta play stuff. But I also, again, don't really want to tap under 4 mana. Because if they would have just would just drop Ezreal. Alright, so this This game's just over. Thermogenic Beam lost this game for me in so many ways. It lost it for me, that's all I had, and it lost lost it because my opponent had one that dealt ten damage. Uh, yeah, just lost it lost it both ways. Was that their third thermogenic beam? I know I drew all three, like with those two in hand, I drew all three. Was that their third one as well? Wait. No, no, I haven't drawn any progress, Dave. Why do, yeah, I, this is my first thing that I've drawn that's drawn a card. That's Static Shock. I mean, that's, that's why I have no cards and they, you know, I haven't had any card draw. <clears throat> oh, and one. I thought that Braum was going to do it for us, but... Did not. <clears throat> I mean, yeah, I have two progress days. That's a matchup for it, but... Starlet Seer looked great, you know, giving us a 7-12 Braum that leveled up to be 813 but thermogenic beam killed it oh yeah I, I agree progress day is a good good card i'm not i wouldn't be mad at playing three i'm not i definitely wouldn't want one i'm not really i don't have like a steadfast opinion on if you have to play three or play two but I would not want just one. I think you. I think you got to play at least two. I think that that's just kind of cherry picking a scenario there where we're playing against another control deck, and then we draw a lot of cards. And we don't see one of the two, and so then we're saying, "Oh, now we got to have three. We're 
It could be a lot of games like where we play against Agra or something and we have two progress days in hand and we're just like, why are we playing three? Um... I think two is reasonable. This, it's not just progress day. We had we had zero cards that drew cards, right? We had zero Avros and Sentries. We had zero Static Shocks. Uh, so it wasn't like it was just because I didn't play a third progress day. Couldn't have card advantage. We we drew zero things that drew cards. Sturdy blades, custom made. I had the one Rummage, but I couldn't play Rummage because Thermogenic Beam, so like... <laughs> So, so that was just super awkward. Thermogenic Beam just cost me that game both on both sides. Okay, so we're, we have to kill the Battlesmith. So I need Thermogenic Beam this, to kill Battlesmith this turn, because this is a card we just have to kill. So that means that I could play Icefill Archer as well, and it looks like they gave me a good way to play Icefield Archer. Now... They could save it. They have a couple different cards. There's two different one-mana cards they could have to save this. If they save it, I'll be very sad. How do you have a turn for Garen? Maybe turn 5 Garen? I'd have been turn 5 Garen. Alright, like this deck can't play turn 4 Garen, right? Yeah, then turn 5. I'm not sure, Cat. I guess our opponent really didn't want their Battlesmith to get beamed. They did not seem too happy. We're going to be going straight to combat and attacking for 5 before they play another blocker. While we have good attacks. Even though, I suppose... Yeah, no, we're just going to do it. So it's like Icefield Archer could take down another blocker, but we'd have to pass priority. They play something and then I Icefield Archer it. We're just going to go to attacks. Another day, another monster to slay. Not a problem when you're by my side. It's dangerous out there. Take this. Doesn't all that armor slow you down? Slow and steady wins the war, Lucian. Knocked and ready. So we're only at two. <clears throat> Now three for Ezreal. Attack. We don't really get to block. So might as well attack. Obviously the problem is I don't want Garen to be striking too much, but Garen's gonna be striking. Hold fast. Oh, take your time, pal. Like I've got better things to do. Stand down. Oh, 
Well, that was worst case scenario. No way. <clears throat> we, must not we need to draw. Oh no, we can't draw. Gotcha. Fight Never mind. Nothing leveled up. Uh, biz, the, this is the link to the deck, and if you click on there, there's a, a place for ex export code. Welcome. Good luck out there, Miss Blue. Captain Crownguard, I'm Cythria. That was the card that I didn't want them to have, the single combat. But, GG's, double Battlesmith. Lucian, double Senna, Garen. Good hand. It's not worth giving them mushroom clouds. They are at seven. May be able to get seven points across. Mayhaps. Alright, so a new cinematic for us to to watch. We'll watch that after this. I'm sure, taking their time. After this, I mean, like, after the stack. Hey, steal! We do what is right! No room for doubt. I'll do my best! Okay. I'll protect the villages. I honestly wonder if I should have No no this is this is the right play. Never mind, never mind. Sorry. That's the right play. Alright, we take three. That was a big time draw right there. That was a big time draw. Yeah, that was that was a really good draw. We'll see tomorrow if that helps us out. So plan the plan here, we got six out of eight for Ezreal. Static shot can make it eight, so we can have leveled up Ezreal. Leveled up Ezreal can cast a couple of mushroom clouds. That's four damage. Um hopefully find another spell, or I mean I guess we just play the chump wall. Jeez. Alright, so this is going to be four. 
So that's the first thing something dies. That gives them the attack token with Lucian, but they already have the attack token. <clears throat> so now if we block and kill something, they don't get an additional attack token. Is that worth trading? No, it's not worth trading. Harsh Winds is a great draw to help stay alive from another attack. Yes, the music is from the board. Um, each board has its own music. Oh no, I can't play Chump Wump and Harsh Winds. I guess I can kindly Tavern Keeper and Harsh Winds. Let's see. If I... I mean, if I go Ezreal, I can do 6 damage to them, and they're at 7. And I could do 6 guaranteed. It's just... So would... Would we find another spell that costs three or less mana out of two cards? We'd have... It couldn't be Thermogenic Beam either. It'd have to be Brittle Steel, another Rummage, Mystic Shot, or Gotcha. Not, not necessarily. I think that's the riskiest line. The problem is they just go straight to attacks again. Now, like, how do I stay alive the next turn? I, got just the thing for you. I mean, I guess the next turn we get one more draw, so we get three looks this at, and then we also get an additional mana, so, and so then Static Shock would also be lethal the following turn after that. Prove your worth. Let's talk about your death. I've carved meat bigger than you. Take my helmet. Oh no! What did I do? Oh, I messed this up, didn't I? Oh my gosh, I didn't. I wasn't thinking about Lucian. I was just thinking about everything else, and I just didn't think about Lucian. Ugh. So what I need to do there is I need to have Sejuani block Garen and not Frostbite Garen um, or Lucian, either one. I need to throw Sejuani in front of one of those two and Frostbite one of the five health things. Oh, I was just thinking about other stuff and I just forgot about that Lucian thing. Ugh. Man, I messed that up. Because likely by the next turn, with us having the extra four mana, getting the extra draw, likely, I mean, I, I think that that was... Almost assuredly, we were going to win that. Whoops. Hold on. Almost assuredly, we were going to win that with... Um, with Ezreal. And 10 mana. And what we had. And with getting the extra draw step, and then the extra two from Rummage. So we were going to have three looks at a spell that cost four or less, instead of two looks at a spell that cost three or less. Ah, uh, that should have been a win. This game's not easy. I don't know if I want to keep Ezreal or not. I kind of do, but I don't think so. Okay, I like this. And we'll get Ezreal anyway. Time for the main event. I'm gonna save you, Thermogenic Beam. Forever 
closer. So Vi, Draven, and Darius, and they're playing Clumpa Lumps. So definitely think this is gonna be Draven. So we're gonna have Gotcha for the Draven. I like how we have the brittle steel backup. Because if they try to, like, if they use like spinning axe and something else that pumps up Draven to kill Brom, then we can brittle steel it. For the money makers. So they have something that does like one damage, like static shock or something. I'm just gonna brittle steel. I'm just gonna do that. Huh. It's a weird use of the card of Might. But I'm glad. Like, I'll take that. Nothing escapes my watch. Hey, Mom's still like a yodel in uniform. Time for a true display of skill. Autographs after the fight, kid. Uh, autographs after... Oh, God. I guess I don't really want them to generate another spinning axe, which is what they would do if I challenged Draven. Two mushroom clouds, a spinning axe, three Let's cards we don't know this. about. Ready the torches. Obstacle, meet gauntlet. Their second Draven's biggest fan here did not pull up a Draven. Now we're cooking. Because they already had a Draven in hand. Brittle Steel is awesome. Man, that card is so good. No, I haven't Core Deck. I haven't seen that. Um, I saw that there was a Lulu reveal, but I haven't I haven't looked at the card yet. We're we're gonna look at it after after this video. After I'm uh yeah, you know, after the five games with Winter Ezreal. One card left our homes. that we don't know about. Maybe I just thermogenic beam this thing with just that one card left and just get real aggressive. That's probably going to work out just fine for me. And there we go. So one and two could have been a two one. 
Could be 2-1 right now if I didn't mess up that other game without Lucian. Yeah, we've done we've done well with this deck, Kordak. I mean, I've only played it the one time before this that we went 5-0, and then today we could be 2-1. But we're you know, we're 1-2 because I I uh, you know blocked the wrong thing. You think freeze effects the most the top the top most BS mechanic? It's kind of weird that for months and months people were not playing these frostbite cards. I've one, I'm one person that's always been real high on them and always been talking about how good they were, but for months people weren't playing them because there's just other things to do and and it, you know like they're kind of weak against like just like the burn strategies and stuff like that. They were too fast, but. Now we have a slower format, which it, which is all about huge units, and these frostbite things are awesome. They're really well positioned. I don't know if I keep any of these cards. I don't think I just like Chumpwomp is good, but I don't think I just keep it in my opener. Yeah, Starless Seer. I like seeing that one. Starlet Seer. Who goes there? <laughs> so the number one BS mechanic is that thing I just lost to. <laughs> True. It's probably always that. Huh. So obviously they have a removal spell this round. From my poor Starless here. Right? Don't they? They have to, right? Like they don't even have the attack token. Yeah, there it is. Uh, I guess I'm supposed to target their things. I'm an Ezreal deck. This would be a good winter. All right, so we got one Starlet Seer ability, so we'll have something with plus one, plus one. Not much. don't have anything to do. We see through all. Could rummage away a rummage and a mystic shot. I think I think mystic shot's the worst card in hand. Thing is mystic shot is just always like really versatile and just a good spell. Um, but I mean, I don't think I really want to get rid of Harsh Winds against the deep deck, and Gotcha is super good. Maybe it is Gotcha instead of Mystic Shots. Blessed by snow and stars. Well, I would have rather discarded Brittle Steel than Gotcha. That's two thermogenic beams from them. Oh, there's another one. Don't blink, or you'll miss me. Fresh is worth at least twice as much. It's possible they'd have another thermogenic beam, but not that likely. Hmm. All right. No way. 
Just not expecting them to have as much removal as they have. I think that's the second Devour of the Depths they've discarded, right? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that is. Those don't come back. Nothing escapes my watch. I'm always up for a round or two. Eyes open. That's two Devourer that's gone, but I guess one could have been created by Jaw Hunters. We don't know what they created with Jaw Hunters. So they still could have two, I suppose. Progress day for sure. We definitely need more cards. Because these ones don't really matter. I guess I play that as another blocker. Uh, I would love to have that card. Love just to have anything to be doing. Just have all defense. How many removal spells do you think they're playing? Like, what do you think they have? Three Mystic Shot, three Thermogenic Beam, probably? Is that it? That's probably it. Like, besides Devour the Depths, you know, I'm talking about just spells. Well, I guess that answers our question. There's go there goes the other two of those. It's kind of unfortunate my Ezreal died. Doesn't even kill Nautilus. Beauty. Come to me. So was I supposed to wait on Ezreal? No, I don't. I don't feel like I was supposed to. We do need a third progress day. We're just sitting there with nothing for so long. Just absolutely nothing.
So I don't really like the 3-1 against all the, the little things, but I guess the 3-1 th would be good against... Uh, the 3-1 would have been good against Elise, so maybe I should have kept it for having Elise on uh, turn 2. All right, we're gonna keep them from drawing too. Blessed by snow and stars. Oh, yes. he does all there you are. This is gonna hurt. This is my way to save the most damage. But I want that 3-1 against... I'm not saving the most damage here, but I want that 3-1 against um, these 4-3s. So my plan is to, to play Thermogenic Beam this turn, not the Tavern Keeper. So that's that's why I'm going with the three one right now. If they're out there, I'll spot them. So I can play Thermogenic Beam. Blessed by snow and stars. Oh, we weren't expecting callers. It'd still be okay. One's a garden. That's such a killer again. That card. With another Cursed Keeper. That's a killer. I play Sejuani, I, I frostbite one of the four threes. They challenge the three one and Sejuani to tackle with these. I think it's better. No, maybe that's the best. Let's either that or go. Yeah, I guess, I guess that's the best. Let's either that or go. Tavern Keeper gain three and then Mystic Shot. Like with the blighted caretaker. I guess we'll be able to gain three any turn. Doesn't have to be gaining three right now. Fly away while you can. Curse Keeper plus Blighted Caretaker is really, really good. Oh. 
Alright, Ezreal's at six. Ouch. Seven. Leave your tracks at the door. So that's seven. Should have attacked with Sejuani first before they were able to play that card. That's ridiculous. These wounds only make us stronger. All right, another day, kind of same result as yesterday. We played a deck that we had previously had a lot of success with first, and went one and four. Um, of course, one of those games, it should have been a win, so it should have been still 2-3, but um, yeah, I ran into some hot uh, hot opponent there, kind of having everything, and then the previous game, I kind of had nothing. So yeah, we, we didn't see a progress day a single time, right? So like we never, like I saw one in one opening hand, which obviously we mulligan the 8-mana card in our opening hand, and then we never never drew one ever. That game wouldn't have met, like that game you don't need progress day, it was the previous game we needed one. That game was just, you know, Blighted Caretaker stealing it. Um, yeah, I mean, I think this deck's still just fine. I don't know, like, it just, it's, you know, the variance of of playing a card game. Sometimes you're going to win them all, some, sometimes you're going to lose them all. I don't, I don't think that this is a bad deck at all. Um, I kind of want to mind a third Averrosen Sentry. That card was really good for us, and also being card draw. I think I would prefer a third one of those, and maybe one less Rummage. Rummage really didn't look good. We never had like Chump Wump Rummage, which I guess that's that's like the one thing you, that like that's where Rummage can can shine more. But Rummage really didn't look good. I think I'd rather just have the two one blocker that draws the card. I think that's just going to be a better card against most everything. Um, so yeah, I'd, ra I'd rather have that. All right, that's our first deck of the day, though, Winter Ezreal. We'll uh, try to turn things around. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button. Of course, let me know how the microphone sounds. You know, like we, uh, you know, trying a new setting with the microphone. Let me know how it sounds over there on YouTube. I'd really appreciate that. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.